What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're doing a quick cosmetic upgrade on our 2015 6.7 Power Stroke. And we're getting started right now. But first, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Drop your comments down below guys. Teespring for your merch. There is the merch shelf now. It should be right under this video. Click on that, go get your 6 Bros merch. We do have our 10,000 subscriber t-shirts up. We are gonna get another one that says 10K and counting. Uh, that should be up soon. So go check those stuff out at the merch store at Teespring. Check out the merch shelf down below. Okay, so this is something I've been planning to do for a while. This, this brake light here, this, there we go. Now I'm actually, I should probably look in the camera what I'm doing. This brake light here, that needs to go. Uh, I, it's all right, I don't like it though. So we got one actually sent out to us here. Opening this one-handed, it might look easy, but it's a little annoying. So we have an LED upgrade one. Nice, it's got a black housing, which will kind of go nice with the theme we're trying to go with here with the black outlook. We'll get to blacking that out at some point in the future. Anyway, so there's a good look at it. I like that it has a black housing behind it too. We have our foam part here all the way around to help seal this in. And it's one plug. So when you pull this out, I'll show you guys this, but you're gonna pull that out. It's just two Phillip head screw, uh, screws. So just one screwdriver is all you need. And then there'll be the three connectors for the bulb. So if you just go for a factory style replacement, you just mess with that. But for these LED ones, you have to pull out the wiring harness a little more and that's where you'll see this connection here. So let's go up and take a look at this. Okay, so here we go. And this is as complex as this really gets. This is probably the hardest part of the whole job, right here. So I'm gonna quick get these two screws out. We'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we go. Then breaking five years of weather sealing nonsense. There we go. All right. So actually this one, you don't even have to pull out far, it's right there for us. So this is the connector here. I am gonna need a second hand, but all you do is you're gonna pull this tab up and then pull that out. That's it, so super simple, just pull up here, be careful not to break it, and pull out. I'll be right back with you. Now just since we have this out here, I'll show you. Like I was saying, these are your three bulbs, so if you wanted to replace those, it's that simple, you just change these out. So, no big deal. Also, these, they've been using the same brake light on this on 250s for like, gosh, 14, 16 years, something like that. So these lights are all interchangeable just as a heads up. I'd have to double check on the plug, but I'm pretty certain 99 through 16 is the same. So now we just need to take this coating or this uh, film off of it. And there we go. Then we're gonna just plug this in. Probably should have plugged it in first, but. Again, trying to do this one-handed and not mess up my new light. There we go. And obviously we have a little extra wire here. We're just gonna tuck that back into the cab and put this on again, make sure your weather sealing stuff is all here, we're good. We're gonna reuse those screws, so I'm gonna put this in, we'll get this screwed in, and literally, you're just gonna tuck this wire in here. Anyway guys, so there it is, I really like it. They look super clean uh, on the truck with all the black, I think that's just a nice sharp look. It doesn't really stand out, it's not super over the top or anything, so I like it. Excited to see what it looks like tonight, I'll show you guys those uh, that video later tonight. Can't wait to get some night shots of this before this. we'll put this video up with them in. So stay tuned guys, coming right up. Okay guys, so we got the night shot here. We got the truck running. And I do have to say, I love these, I love these blacked out tail lights or tint smoke tail lights, I should say. They're not blacked out, but they do look super nice on this. And then our new addition here, let's open up a door so we can see this. So here it is, super bright. We're gonna turn this light off so you guys can see nothing. You can see nothing. Uh, this is actually lighting up the bed really well. I can see good. I know you guys can't, we'll turn the light back on here. Uh, <clears throat> obviously at night, it's kind of hard to get some of these shots, but it looks really clean. 
Uh, I do like it, nice and bright. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get in the truck and, and hit the brake pedal so you guys can see what that looks like. So anyway guys, that's the install, super easy. I'm very happy with it, it looks great. Nice, bright, nice, clear. It's nice and clean looking to the truck. I feel it really bring, like I really feel like the tail lights in this tie into each other. We are gonna replace the license plate bulbs so that kind of all matches completely uh, as far as lighting goes. Anyway guys, that's the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Affiliate link down in the description if you want this brake light. I recommend it so far. I'll see you in the next upload.